Delighted to be joined here by Harry Johnson on his debut. Firstly, mate, thoughts on your first professional fight? Yeah, loved it, pal. Absolutely enjoyed it. Uh, it's an honour to be out there and get to showcase my skills and my ability and stuff. Yeah, it's been good, mate. Enjoyed it. There's nothing like your debut. Um, kind of, were there any nerves? Like, it's a lot different to amateurs. Were you nervous, like, before the fight? Yeah. More just like waiting at home and stuff. To be honest, when I got here, I'll in change rooms and I could get set up. I, would, I chilled out a lot more than I thought I would. To be honest, I thought I'd be a bit more nervous. But no, it's good to be nervous. You know, it's good. To, my debut, we only get your debut once, don't you? So, nah, mate. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I felt good in there. Just on to the fight itself. How would you kind of assess your performance? Yeah, good. Um, I mean, to say it's my debut, I've not fought for like nearly a year, to be fair, either. So, it was good to get out there and showcase my skills, showcase my ability. I've got a lot more in the locker. Um, so yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Obviously, under the guidance of Jason Cunningham, who's been through it and done it all, uh, recently retired. What's it been like working with him and, and kind of learning from him? Yeah, I've only been with him for the past like two or three months, to be fair, but no, it's been really good. An honour, to be honest with you, mate. It's really been a pleasure training with the lads in there. It's, it's really been good. Showcased my stuff and proved myself, not, to, not only to myself, but to everyone else as well. I just want to ask you a bit about your amateur experience, your amateur background. Do you want to talk a, bit, a little bit about that? Yeah, mate, no problem. Um, not much, to be fair. I only had 13 amateurs, uh, one nine. Again, it, it's not much to say, to be honest. I, I could have done a lot more, probably should have done. Um, stuff gets in ways, life and injuries and stuff like that. But now I'm, I'm, I'm fit, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling the best I've ever felt. So, yeah, really good, mate. When I asked Jace a little bit about you, he said that you're kind of awkward to fight against, switching stances. Do you want to talk a little bit about your style to the people that, that, w that wasn't here today to watch you? Yeah, well, I've, I've had a bit of a martial art background. Um, done 14 years of Taekwondo. I teach that now. Um, so there's a bit of that kickboxing style in there, a bit of awkward slipping and stuff like that. So that's probably where it's adapted from. And then as my boxing's come through the past eight or nine years, it's just, I did, had my own adaptations to it, learnt off everyone, every trainer I've worked with. I'm, I'm, it's been an honour to work with him. I'm really proud, really thankful, really grateful. So yeah, it's been good. With regards to yourself, like kind of what are you wanting, what are your aspirations? Everyone has a dream of a title, maybe they want to achieve. And I know people set goals high and, and low and then everything else is a bonus, but kind of what are your aims and aspirations? Babe steps, mate, babe steps. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not too young, but I'm still young, I'm 24. So uh, we go step by step, fight by fight. Obviously, I'd, I'd love to be at Central Area title, I'd love to be British, love to be English, and further on, further on. So, as far as I can go, we'll, we'll, we'll aim to go there. That's probably the best way in it, just to take it yeah, fight by fight. fight. Yeah, I want to just ask you a little bit as well about that kickboxing kind of thing. How come you kind of transitioned over to boxing? Um, so, when I was competing at Taekwondo, obviously many years ago now, uh, I was really good with my legs. And I was a really skinny lad, really skinny kid, and still am, like, <laughs> especially after to lose all this weight. But um, now I started boxing um, for my dad. My dad's always supported me, he's took me everywhere, bless him. Uh, again, really grateful for it. Uh, one of his mates I started off doing fitness boxing in a place down in Johnfield. And then he asked me if I wanted to start at amateurs, and I was like, oh yeah. And just started getting my hands better, and then I'll just end up having twice as good hands as I do with my legs. So I just, like I say, I don't do anything with Taekwondo kickboxing now. It's just, I just teach it on the side only a little bit, but mainly it's all about my boxing now. So. Just reg with regards to the rest of the year, um, I'm guessing you want an active end, do you want to get as many fights in to kind of build your experience? Yeah, 100% mate, like I say, I just, I, it's good to get the rounds in, um, obviously everyone loves a good stoppage, but the plan was to stay behind the jab, listen to my corner, which I, I did well, I did get a little bit carried away at times, but he just told me to enjoy it and I, I really did today, so yeah, really good. Brilliant, so just final one, debut, kind of how would you rank it in kind of your career so far? I know there's only one thing like your debut, but your amateurs, your amateur fights, like, how different was it? Was it probably one of the best days of your combat experience so far? Yeah, 100%, mate, 100%, probably the best. Um, the pro style suits me a lot more. Everyone said that, I knew it would. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed it, mate, really enjoyed it. Final one, I know I heard a lot of people, a lot of people there for yourself. Um, just a quick note to all them as well. Yeah, again, people that have come are all close family friends. I love them all to bits. They like me. I've just got a massive family. Um, I can't thank them enough. And everyone who's come to support me and mentioned to me, I'm really grateful for it. So, yeah. Top man, I look forward to seeing your career develop, mate, and looking forward to you much more here. Yeah. Thank you.